Okay, let's look into mutation. The definition, it is a spontaneous and random change of genetic material, the DNA of the cell in an organism. A substance that causes mutation is known as mutagen. Okay, mutation occurs spontaneously in natural conditions. Okay, what is a mutant? Okay, it is a new genetic material that is produced by mutation. It can exist as mutant gene, mutant cell, mutant organelle, or even a mutant individual. Okay, next, moving on, let's look into the three types of agents where mutagen is divided into, namely the physical agents, chemical, and also biological agents. Okay, the examples are ultraviolet rays from the sun, ionizing rays, X-ray, alpha ray, beta ray. So these are under physical agents. Chemicals. Chemicals, for example, carcinogen, which is found in cigarette smoke, food preservatives, formaldehyde and benzene, under chemical agents. Whereas biological agents can be of any viruses and bacteria. Okay, mutation that occurs in somatic cells. For example, cells in the bone marrow can cause blood cancer. Okay, let's look into the types of mutations. The first one is gene mutation and the second is chromosomal mutation. Okay, so let's look at gene mutation first. And that is because uh, a change, that's, there is a change in the nucleotide-based sequence of a gene. Okay, it is also known as point mutation because it occurs at the base. So it seems like a dot. That's why the name point mutation. Okay, so the, the change is going to alter the genetic code that is used to synthesize amino acid. Okay, so let's look into, do some revision, the genetic code. Okay, what is that? It is written as a series of three bases that determine the sequence of amino acids in a protein. Okay, remember, amino acid is the monomer of protein. So say, for example, A, U, G, codon. Remember the nitrogenous base, adenine, uracil, and also guanine. Okay, so this A, U, G, codon is actually the code for methionine amino acid. Uh, so... The sequence, when we say the sequence, the base sequence is changed. So this is going to alter uh, the genetic code uh, that is to synthesize amino acid, which means to say the protein structure will be changed. And therefore, this new protein structure cannot function. Now, let's look at the types of, um, types of gene mutation. We have base being substituted, base substitution, base being inserted in between, base insertion, and the third one is base that is being deleted, okay, missing base, so base deletion. Okay, so let's look into these MET, methionine, lysine, uh, phenyl, alanine, proline, glutamic acid, these are the amino acids. So if base is to be substituted, for example, thymine, but then G is substituting thymine, so therefore the base pair of it is going to change. Uh, this will result in different amino acid being synthesized. Aspartic acid instead of um, glutamic acid so see how it changes this is what we call mutation okay same goes to here whenever there is insertion in between okay supposedly proline will be synthesized but that there is new amino acids leucine is being synthesized because of the change in the base sequence okay the third one the third condition where this g is gone is deleted Therefore, proline is not synthesized, but instead, arginine is being synthesized. Okay, so gene mutation causes genetic diseases. 
example, thalassemia, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, albinism, and hemophilia. Okay, these are the types of gene mutation with their respective examples of diseases. Okay, let's look into sickle cell anemia. Looks like sickle. Okay, the red blood cells looks like sickle. Okay, in the shape of crescent. Okay, remember what is the function of red blood cells? That is to transport oxygen, right? So this is the normal shape of a red blood cells, biconcave, okay, um, like a donut, uh, round. But then now you look at the abnormal shape of the red blood cells, the sickle cell and uh, of the red blood cells, crescent shape, we say. Uh, so because the red blood cells, they are not properly formed, so we call it as crescent shape, like looks like crescents. Uh, but still, some of the red blood cells are normal. Okay, therefore, the patient is experiencing lack of oxygen because the... Uh, the function of the red blood cells being jeopardized, unable to transport oxygen sufficiently to the, to the, to the patient. Therefore, he or she is experiencing anemia. Okay, another example is albinism. Okay, this is because an individual is having problems with the melanin pigment. Okay, pigmentation problem. Okay, an individual who experiences albinism, we call uh, we call the them as the uh, albino. Okay, it is due to mutation of gene which is responsible for producing pigments for the skin, the hair, and also the eyes. Therefore, when the pigment are not produced in the albino, so the hair, the skin, the eye looks white okay because of the missing melanin pigment 